Hey guys, it's Chantrinas, and today I'm going to show you how I've been doing my gel nails. And I'm using the McCart nail pump ups today in the coffin shape. I taught myself how to do these gel nails um, around January, and I've been doing them for about three or four months now, and it's been so much fun. I've found a real passion in doing nails, and I wanted to share that with you guys. So here we go. Okay, so first off, when you're fitting out these gel nail tips, you want to make sure you're going from sidewall to sidewall, which is the sides of your nail. And measuring out the tips beforehand is a huge time saver, so make sure to do that beforehand. Normally I would do a primer and dehydrator for my nails, but this is a pop-off set, meaning I'm only going to have this on for a couple of days. So I'm using this peel-off base coat from Gaoi Nails. I think that's how you say it. And next thing I do here is I take this nail glue from a I me uh, I, I found it on Amazon I don't know I like this nail glue and I use this to apply the actual nail tips keep in mind I do still also have the peel off base coat underneath this so if you see any shininess on my natural nail that's what that is so out of all of these steps I feel like the first two are the hardest you want to make sure that your nail tips are fitting properly first of all and you want to make sure that you are paying attention to how you're gluing down the nail because if you glue it at an angle, uh, your whole nail is going to look just way off. So just be very careful. Another tip for making sure that your nails are fitting properly, if you are in between sizes, because sometimes certain uh, nail tips, they don't have your nail size, it's better to go up a little bit than to have a smaller fitting size. So be sure to do that. Some of these products I'm using for the first time in this video, like this Beatles nail polish. I honestly was staying away from Beatles for a long time because I heard that it, they can give people like allergic reactions, but I decided to start using it because I don't know, I, there was like this spring sale on Amazon or something and I got a gel set for like eight bucks and it came with like 30 nail polishes and I was like, you know what? I am going to take the risk. <laughs> so I did. And um, so far, it's been fine. If I do end up being allergic, that would really suck. But, you know, I'm going to I'm going to take the risk because this gray is just really pretty. I promise there are other colors other than gray, but I'm just using it for this set. Also, just a warning about using gel products. If you get them on your skin, you can cause contact dermatitis, which means you will be allergic. Make sure you're wiping away the excess gel before you cure it onto your skin. In general, you wanna make sure to avoid getting the gel on your skin as much as possible. Um, that is kind of hard if you're a beginner. I sucked at nail polish before I started all of this, but I think I'm pretty decent now and I'm able to avoid the areas, but I do still need to go in with like a brush and some acetone to clean up on the sides to make everything look neater and just to make sure it's not on my skin. I really like nail sets that have like different colors and I'm using black on my index and my ring finger. I'm using the jelly black on my middle finger and I'm using the gray on my thumb and my pinky. I'm very close to being out of that color black. That's why it looks so light uh, for the first couple of layers here, but it is actually a pretty dark black. I just am very low on it. This next color, oh my goodness, I am obsessed with it. It is so freaking pretty. It's a jelly black color, which is absolutely beautiful uh, once you see it fully like cured and everything. It's just like, I don't know, I'm obsessed with like jelly colors right now and this jelly black is really doing it for me. I also wanna try a jelly gray, but yeah, you can also just make your own jelly colors if you want instead of just buying so many extra ones by mixing it with a, I think a base or a top coat and you still will get a similar jelly color, but this is just what I use because I thought it was cute. After doing two coats of every color and fully curing it, I'm going ahead and continuing my decoration. For this, I was thinking like, okay, maybe I'll do like a marble thing on the gray and it turned out really cute. So what I did was I grabbed a random sponge that I had cut up and uh, applied the black, just kind of stamping it all over my nail wherever I wanted. Make sure to cure in between uh, the process here because once you put it on there and it's cured, it's gonna stay in place. I love that. So you don't have to worry about it like slipping and sliding all over the place. And once it's done, that's what that looks like. I really love how my thumbs came out and we're gonna go ahead to the next nails here. So my idea at first was like an aura nail situation. So I was trying to do that like uh, circle halo thing that I seen on Pinterest and stuff. And the nail ended up kind of looking like 
a, a moon. I, I don't know how I ended up achieving that, but it looked really cute. One thing I do regret is putting this black jelly over it. And you'll see here that I wipe a bit away with acetone coming up soon. I thought that would have looked really cute if I would have kept a bit of the white, um, or sorry, the gray kind of peeking through a little bit more. That way it looks even more like a moon. Like, look at this. That would have looked so freaking cool. I don't know what stopped me from just going ahead with that theme, but I plan on redoing this at some point just to see how that would look. Next thing I'm doing here is using my McCart rhinestone glue, which I've been raving about on TikTok and Instagram. If you guys aren't following me there, I would suggest doing it now because I post so many tutorials on TikTok, it's crazy. Like I post one every other day, it feels like. And at this point, it's my favorite part. It's adding in all the gems. I really like a good, a cute gem. I have so many now. I have like a freaking uh, crafting cart full of gems, but this time I went for like this metal, um, like vintage silver color thing going on. And I think it looks really good, especially with the color combination. So after every gem, I'm gonna go ahead and cure. Um, actually, sorry, no, after every finger I'm curing because uh, you want to make sure that your gems are staying on after each finger because if not, if you try to do the whole hand all in one go, I've made this mistake before, your gems are going to fall off or slide and you're not going to get the outcome that you want. So make sure to uh, cure between every single nail. And I know I'm not showing my bigger lamp here, but also have two lamps. So this lamp from Ricard is really cute. It's a flower. It's perfect for flash curing meaning that it's just gonna harden things up real cute, real fast to um, make sure things are staying in place where you want them and then go into the big, the bigger lamp and do a final cure where everything is gonna like finally secure in place, so. And I also use these rhinestones on my nails. I didn't record that part, I'm so sorry. Uh, and that's it. If you wanna start doing your own Gel X nails, I do have everything listed on my Amazon storefront. So I have a beginner Gel X nail shopping list and you can choose from those. Those are all products that I've used or recommend. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to give me a like and a comment if you're interested in more nail videos. Also follow me on TikTok cause I post there constantly, like almost every day. And on Instagram, same name is here, at Shantrinas. Bye guys.